Now to the Biden presidency. Senate Democrats are pressing forward on the voting rights bill starting the debate today. However, the legislation faces a major roadblock since not all Democrats support changing Senate rules that would allow lawmakers to pass it with just a simple majority. CBS 4's Natalie Brand has more from Capitol Hill. A group of voting rights advocates demonstrated outside of the U.S. Capitol, while inside, Senate Democrats are moving forward with debate on legislation they say will make the ballot more accessible. The public is entitled to know where each senator stands on an issue as sacrosanct as defending our democracy. Democrats will huddle this evening to discuss next steps with a procedural vote planned as soon as Wednesday. But Republicans are expected to block it from getting the required 60 votes in the evenly divided Senate. This is about one party <clears throat> wanting the power to unilaterally rewrite the rule book of American elections. Key moderate Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema have said they oppose changing Senate rules to pass voting rights legislation with a simple majority, despite mounting pressure from the White House. You've heard the president say that until his last breath, he will be fighting for the protection of voting rights. We've got to be the generation that defends and extends our most fundamental freedom, the right to cast a vote that counts. Activists are also keeping voting rights in the spotlight, including the granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr., Yolanda Renee, who issued a call to action Tuesday morning at the National Cathedral. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. According to the Brennan Center for Justice, more than 19 states passed laws to restrict voting last year, and more states are expected to pass bills this year.